The Ontario experience is the next best thing to going on the adventure yourself. And who knows, this unique show just might give you some ideas for your next fishing or hunting trip. The lodges and resorts in Ontario are waiting to welcome you back once we can travel again safely. So stay tuned after watching this episode. It's almost as good as being there. One of the great things about Manitak Lodge is it's a drive-to, four-star trophy fishing resort in Sunset Country, Ontario. I have to say, for the entire drive, I was looking forward to what I had heard about the big walleye, smallmouth bass, and muskies Peralt Lake has to offer. It's also known for their cozy lodging, detailed customer service, and outstanding food. I couldn't have been more excited to get this adventure underway. Okay. Oh yeah, this it's got the big bolt like that when you, when you get those big head shakes. Yeah. You know it's a good one. I haven't uh, seen him yet. I haven't seen him either. Should be. Nice. We don't have color. I saw a little flash there. Still have it. I see white right there. Oh, big Oh, yeah, walleye. that's a big one. Oh, oh big wow. Look at that one. Look <laughs> okay. at there. Oh. So this is, whoops. Yeah, this is the first fish of the trip for me at Manitak. <laughs> and second spot. <laughs> so you know exactly where the fish are. We've been marking them. Got this one in a jig and wrap. I'm just going to get a quick measure on this thing and uh, get her back. Wow, that was exciting. <laughs> that was fun. 27. 27. Beautiful. There it goes. There. There we are. Nice yeah, fish so, again? Yeah, feels like it, yeah. Sometimes it takes him a second to get those head shakes. I'm gonna, oh, wants to be landed over there. Oh yeah, look at the, you, you get those, oh, bobbing down, nice. That's, when you see the rod pumping down, that's when, the, you know, those bigger <laughs> fish are, are moving like that. Wind's we, almost blowing my hat off, yeah. it's so strong out here. We got into this spot, again, we haven't been here maybe 10 minutes. Maybe. <laughs> we marked a bunch you pulled right on the spot and we're like immediately. <laughs> Normally you gotta drive around a couple times to find the fish, but they were stacked right on it. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, another oh, big yeah. one, man. Oh yeah, that's another, another nice one. one. Yeah, deep boil. Oh, we'll do yeah. another lift. Oh, there. another big fish, man. <laughs> yeah. Get the jig out. Oh, this is easy, oh, right there. Just in the, oh yeah, right in the corner. A nice hook set. Yeah, pop. It's free. Hair jig. So, there. <laughs> I think in this light, it should look like Ontario gold. <laughs> oh yeah. So this is the second fish now. We, uh, we've been fishing less than 10 minutes. We're already on two good ones. We got, we got blown up a little bit by the weather. So we came in for dinner and we just got back out. Yeah? Yep. I'll get the net. Uh, it's just a eater size. Oh, eater size? But... Okay. All right. Nice. That did not oh, take long. I got one back. I just got one back here, too. Need a net I don't know there. if I need the net. You got the, got a couple of eaters. This one got some head shakes. I don't think it's a, a monster, but yeah, it's a little better. It's a bigger. Oh, yeah. Nice, right, hook it right through the through the nose. I'm actually gonna do a fast tournament grab. I'm not gonna lip them, but I'm gonna boat side. They're right through. The, yeah. Yeah. That is that's actually a little bit <laughs> yeah, it's a little better than I thought. Just right through. When you got them hooked like that, that's good. Right through the top. That's actually a little better than I than I thought it was. That's a good one. 
they start getting this size and up, these are, oh, they're, they're fun to catch, especially when you're jigging for them and, and uh, th you know, throwing these kind of reactionary baits, casting out, almost like you're bass fishing, they are fun. There, I felt that. Wow, Ooh, that's, a, that's a better fish. Well, I felt that, I popped. That feels pretty good. And that one, so that one really popped it <laughs> when you're snap jigging. And sometimes, get the net, nice you feel, you get that double thump where it hits the bottom and then you get the, it's like boom, boom. It's, it's a lot of fun. Gee, another good one, right in the side of the mouth. And I'm actually just gonna unhook it here in the net. That, that's what you come up to man attack lodge for. Giant walleye like this, and they get even bigger, and of course, the big muskie. And also, did I mention the uh, pike fishing and the bass fishing as well? You know, the fishing here is incredible. And besides the fishing, the hospitality, the all-inclusive plan, the incredible boats that you get to use while you're staying here, the meals, the facilities, the cabins, it is first class and top notch. I don't, there's no way this could have made that wake. Let me throw it again. That was like, Oh, right there. It's gotta be. You got it! Oh, oh man, you had him too. Oh my gosh. Oh. Never, never got hooks in it. Boy, she hit that. Holy cow. Never got the hooks in her. Oh, cow. This one. You got him? Yeah. Yeah? Got him. Oh, oh that's a musk, oh, too. Yeah. You're gonna grab a net there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> net. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, man. Here you go. Ready? Not yep. a big one, but it's a musk yeah, in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she spit it right in the net, oh, right too. There. Nice one. Nice fish. Yeah. Not a, not a giant, mega giant, but uh, she put on a good show for us. And this one hit, I had a bite, what, two casts before this? Yeah. I had one slam me and then you got hooked up. I mean, we've been out, we've had three follows, three follows before this, and five different, you know, five different fish in two hours. So we're here at Chaudier Lodge, the main lodge right behind me here on the Upper French River. Getting here was pretty easy. Uh, you're just four hours north of Toronto and uh, down this nice little dirt road to a marina from the marina just a mile and a half to right here. Now this is the Upper French River. This is known for world-class muskie. Also fantastic walleye fishing, pike fishing, and a very underutilized and underrated bass fishery, both smallmouth and largemouth. This is going to be fun. I was immediately impressed with the accommodations. Comfortable cottages with plenty of room and the option of a do-it-yourself housekeeping or an all-inclusive American plan. Besides a nice place to debrief at the end of the day, the quaint screened-in porch provided a great place to rig my rods to get out on the water for a little bit before the night set in.
Not a small mouth. You're not running. Big oh. bass. Oh yeah, yeah, it is a small mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Great looking fish. Yeah. Great well, looking fish. That is. Oh, there's one with it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there's a big one with it. This is one of the bonus in the corner of the mouth. Beautiful. Yeah, bonus fish, bonus smallmouth. I had one with it that was bigger, actually. So that's one of the things you can expect here is lots of walleye, but then uh, even in these deep spots, smallies. That big, oh yeah, big large mouth. <laughs> oh, nice, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I said a small, a, a, a small mouth. I looked at the wrong. I'm like, that looks small mouthy. I threw up there. Sure enough, a really nice large mouth. That's the one thing you have here when, you're, gee, when you're fishing the French River. Is obviously they're known for musky and walleye, but there is some incredible. Yeah, that's a big fish for up here. For how's that? For a largemouth bass, way up here in the, in the upper French. I mean, this is, this is pretty incredible. This is the same rod, by the way, I was using for for walleye. Just put on a little wacky rig on that, and uh, it's it's you know in the in the middle of the day, you come up here, you know, you fish walleye. You can fish walleye throughout the day and catch fish, but if you love to bass fish, there's fantastic largemouth bass and smallmouth bass fishing here. So in the middle of the day like this, you know, when the sun is up uh, bright, that's when these fish like to bite. At the Chaudière Lodge, we provide just about everything. Uh, we're a full service resort. We provide all of your meals, accommodations, Wi-Fi, uh, housekeeping service. Uh, it's all done for you. All you need to bring is yourself and your fishing gear. The Upper French River is a world-class fishery. We have walleye is our bread and butter. Uh, you can expect high numbers. Um, we have good quality fish. Uh, we've got world-class muskies. We're in the neighborhood of 20 to 30 fish a year or over 50 inches. Uh, we have great guides that can put you on fish. All of our people here, it's our job to put you on fish. Our bass fishery here is one of the most underrated and underutilized bass fisheries that we have in Ontario. It's my favorite part of the fishery. Uh, and we also have great northern pike. That's a way, buddy. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. Wow. In a fight a little bit different. I went out and just threw and slow roll instead of you slow roll nice catch nice fish <laughs> yeah, nice fish you. troy oh yeah i got the jig right in the oh wow nice one. yeah i got the jig right up i don't have my soft plastic through that that's a nice one a good one for here so you can you, you pop jig for the walleye, a slow reel for the smallmouth. I got to say, it's a pretty cool experience to catch so many different kinds of fish in one day. Smallmouth, largemouth, walleye, even a musky bite off. There really aren't too many places that offer that kind of multi-species fishing extravaganza. I've been to a lot of Canadian resorts and outposts, and I have to say, it's really hard to beat the level of solitude combined with comfort that Clark's Resorts and Outposts provides at the remote Anishinaabe Lake Lodge in beautiful Sunset Country, Ontario. And to say my heart was racing to get out on the lake, well, that would be an understatement. Oh. We came in, he went, the boil right there, big deep boil. There he is. Oh, there, there, got him, got him, got him. I wonder if that's, nice, nice. I wonder if that's the same, 
that's the same fish. That's, that's a good one. I do like to have like this 360 GT swim bait, nice just single hook when you're messing with these. Yeah, I think I can just grab him in the back. Yeah, he's, gotcha. There we go. That's fun. Bike fishing is fun. I got a, a single hook on this one. It'll be very easy to get out. And, you know, there's a number of, there, just a single hook, big swim bait. You know, there's a, a number of, oh, a fat one, a number of weedy bays here at Anishinaabe that you can target these things. You know, we just, we took one, this is our first pass, just coming from the front, working to the back and already got into them. When they get this big and up, they are a lot of fun. We got the smallmouth earlier today, uh, just a couple hours ago. Look at the belly in this one. Get this one back, back in the water and try to get another one. Again, the accommodations couldn't be more comfortable at Anishinaabe Lake Lodge. The inside of the cabins and main lodge are homey and definitely reflect what a remote flying experience is all about. Incredible fishing and hunting opportunities and the chance to unwind and relax away from civilization. And then there's the food, which is simply top notch. Everything from grilled steaks to fried fish, you definitely won't go away hungry. And the camaraderie with friends and family, definitely a trip to put on your bucket list. So I'm here with John. John, you know this lake pretty well. You were here last month and actually caught some pretty big lake trout. What can you expect today? Well, with the conditions, it's uh, calm, so that's good. Mm -hmm. um, the water temperatures are hovering around 80 degrees Fahrenheit on the surface. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, lake trout, I don't know if that's going to affect lake trout too, too much, but yeah. we'll, we're going to find out today. But we had a very good, uh, very good time out here about a month ago. Mm -hmm on the Lakers and they're about 80, 80 feet. Uh, so today we'll, uh, we'll see if we can find them in that uh, depth again. Nice, sounds good. Besides vertical jigging, another surefire way to catch lake trout in deep water is with downriggers, which John had mounted on his boat precisely for this opportunity. Hey, fish on. Yeah? Wanna reel it up? Listen to me. Go ahead. No, you're fish at your side. You're the captain. <laughs> and maybe this weather. Ugly. Obviously, it's a lot different from yesterday. Oh yeah, look at that one. That's a big, that's a big one. Nice. Scoop it in, and yeah. in. Beautiful. Just set it down there. 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 Oh, that is nice. That's. This is why people come up here and visit uh, through Clark's Resorts here at Anishinaabe. This fish right here. We'll get this one back in the water and try to get another. Uh, to get a bigger one. Try That's to a get a bigger fish. one. Yeah, yeah. That that looks like that looks like a fish. It Can didn't you, snap, but I'm gonna you. need you. Yeah. That's oh, off. Uh oh. So it's a big. Oh, you got the big. Got him. Yep. Yep, it, it snapped and I got him now. He's coming up. Now, not unlike smallmouth, he's not coming up real easy. I might. Yeah. There he is. We got color. We got color. There it is. Yeah. We'll just keep it up. And. Oh. There. Right in that. There it is. Yeah, we'll just set it. Oh, that's a nice little landing place for it. There. Get a little nice one. 
there are oh, the pa the patterns on these fish are just incredible now granted this is probably a you know size wise they get that's pretty that's actually pretty small this is a for pretty this small lake. one yeah but the, the, very good to eat this size yeah very good so. yeah in fact you're showing me the photo of the one that you had just last month and right just a monster but the, you said this is more of an eater size yeah, yeah. if you were to keep one and yeah. then um and they get up in here i think the biggest of season is like 25 pounds right yeah you, you don't want to eat, you don't want to eat those no <laughs> those are the trophy ones when they get yeah. up that big that's what people come here for yeah just remember the fish will be waiting for you in ontario when we're able to travel again safely